Going into the second map, Freight Search and Destroy between Opti Gaming and FaZe for the Scuff Gaming Showdown. Uh, of course, you just saw FaZe completely dominate map number one, Freight Domination. But now Opti Gaming, they had a chance to get warmed up. You know, of course, Nate just coming off a plane. Uh, probably just walked in the doors of the Optic house and yeah. had to uh, to play a match. But yeah, let's take a look poll. at our poll real quick. Let's see who's yeah, winning who's in winning that. Yeah, who's winning this poll? Uh, I think last time, have poll. last time I saw it, it was like 76% for Optic, 24% for FaZe. Yeah. Bet you that changed a little bit after the first map. Yeah, a lot of people going for phase, but keep in mind that that's how you're gonna win a scuff controller. You hashtag scuff gaming showdown along with either hashtag optic or hashtag phase. Whoever you think is gonna win, and uh, at the end of the night when we have our winner, we'll see who hashtag what, and we'll pick a winner from that. But Parasite starting things off, two kills already made from him. As we're gonna move over to Nature because he's the bomb carrier for the squad. Yeah, not a good start for optic. They tried to push up that mid. Alley, and it looked like, you know, Parasite sitting in bottom green. They will pick off one, and right there, Nade left by himself in a quick round right there out of phase. And, you know, phase was a very good job on defense in this map. They stacked two players in red like you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, those other two players roam a little bit. I believe it's Parasite, and I think it's uh, Dido. You know, Apathy plays red most of the time. And, you know, they're able to just give you different looks. Sometimes they go gate, sometimes they go green, sometimes they go top Owens. It's very difficult to kind of figure out where they are. All right, so moving into the offensive round four phase. We're going to be watching Parasite now. Uh, I think the normal strategy we're going to see for most of these teams is just trying to bait and switch this guy yeah. out of red. Because once you get control of red, you pretty much get a free plan at the A site. But Grenade comes in. That's going to be Clayster taking down Parasite. And now all of a sudden, phase, they don't have that manpower now to try to bait and switch red. But here comes Apathy. We'll find the angle on the Bloods. Of course, one more player inside red. They don't know it, but... They could maybe assume. You always want to be cautious. He actually will find him. Going for the wall bank. Connected with some hit markers. He's got sensor there for backup, but he doesn't need any backup, man. After he takes down Clay, one more player in red. Moving over to... Uh, I wanted to go over to sensor real quick. But sensor play by App. Yeah, though. was able to take out Nade, so it's all up to Scump here for Optic. I mean, it really all started when... Uh, Apathy was able to pick off Bloods. Bloods mm -hmm. not really in a good position at all. For some reason, not even watching Red Door. I mean, you know, you get a player down... It, it, you should be watching that red door. You know that guy's got to make a play. And, I mean, Apathy obviously made There are only two ways they could get into red. Either right. red door or they jump in on they the jump roof. jump up, yeah. But or actually, uh, a play that I've been seeing a lot of teams doing just is going just right going through the alley. Right the YOLO through the red push. Alley and just going straight in the back. Because a lot of times, two, they put two in red and two over on uh, green and like gate side. And you know, you're able to get through there pretty easy. And Skump and Sensor, they're going to find each other here. Skump takes it with the knife to the chest. Enough time for him to get this bomb defused. So Optic Gaming, they're able to answer back. And this is another one of those maps I feel like the defense kind of have the upper hand. Yeah, defense has the upper hand. But, uh, you know, if offense can get pretty creative. Like we were just talking about, you know, they're able to get to that red to mm -hmm. jump up. If they're able to push side red, you can push straight through. I mean, it's really a lot of variations on trying to get red control. If you can get red control, you will win this map on offense 90% of the time. Look at that poll, Revenue. Just jumped a little bit for FaZe. Ooh, FaZe. Fans are getting a little more people, want, people out there want to win their scuff controllers, huh? I know. Optic fans are like, you know what? <laughs> Love my team. <laughs> I want to scuff. Okay, so starting this off with Sensor. He's going to immediately throw some stuns out. Those connect with that as they're going to close both the side red door as well as the fire door. And just like we were talking about, that whole alley is wide open. Right now, FaZe have nobody watching it. Yeah, and you know, uh, it's interesting. Optic doesn't really go to push into red, which, you know, usually you send a guy top white or into white, usually you're going to push red, right? You got to let that player get to white first before you mm -hmm. make a move on red. He needs so the angle able, on the red roof. Right, he needs the angle look across. You've been scrimming a little bit. You understand. I know a little bit about Call of Duty. Yeah, you know a tad bit. Oh, place are going for the jump shot. Ooh. Not going to connect, though. If he would have hit that, that would have been impressive. But, you know, right now, because Optic really didn't push anything or really get anything set up, they're not really to get any type of control. They're kind of just Waiting on a first pick, and right here, I mean, Nate trying to bank on a player just rotating back. Yeah, and FaZe putting an emphasis on just controlling red. They got three guys in here right now. As Nate will be pushing up the alley, Parasite finds him, but Nate with the SMG going to beat the AR just about every single time yeah. as Clay and Sensor both finding kills. Yeah, and that's that push I was talking about from Nate. He's able to get into back red through, you know, that little lumber alley, and he's able to pick it off, but... So the bomb's down, and Dito is in a great position to play defense right here. But Nate is planning on the planning it in the perfect the spot bomb, too. Yeah. He knows exactly what's going on. Right, and you know, here's the big one-on-one -on -one between Dito and Nate. And 
the most common spot to go to, of course, is going to be inside red, just because uh, there's a lot of area to work with. You got three stories there, and if you're on the third story, even the second story, it's really easy just to get a line of sight on that bomb. But right now, Dito's just checking the other variables. You know, is he going to try to wrap around green? Is he going to try to play in fire? And actually, Nate shot push out over towards Grace. Dito is going to find him. Dito wins it against Nate shot a one on one. Uh, he's able to find him pretty easy. Yeah. Man. He just smoked out one area of the map. Uh, Nate Did shot. you see him cross, you think? I, I, don't, I don't think he saw him cross. I think he was just guessing. He was just, yeah, that was, that was a pretty good guess. Because, I mean, if you're Nate, I mean, you probably could have made it all the way around to top, top bar. Wood. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's probably where I would have said to go or gone. But you, you also got to figure, bar. where did he plant the bomb? He planted it, uh, if you're looking at it from wood, it's on the right side. On the right side. But all he would have needed to do is, you know, Dito would have crossed train. He would have mm -hmm. put a few shots in him. And, you know, what's Dito going to do? Go watch him defuse or he's going to try and fight that gunfight. Mm -hmm. Fights the gunfight, doesn't have enough time to defuse. He just goes straight for the defuse and Nate sees it and he just jumps out and kills him. So it's going to be phased. They take the lead in this one and now they find themselves on offense. It looks like they're going to be a bit aggressive towards right here and here we go. Sensor trying to work the alley. He sees the player near the back. Heglitch does take a sniper shot and now he's just kind of stuck in the water here. He doesn't have much area to work with. He gets taken out. In fact, it's going to be Nate shot and Clacer both picking up kills. As Apathy and Dito find themselves as the last alive. And now the bomb is in such a weird position, but yeah. Apathy does find a kill as he's the last one alive. You no know, Apathy in this one on three situation, but right there, Optic able to, you know, kind of kind of figure out that FaZe was going to try and push that lumber alley. Uh, they did that to us, actually, I believe. Uh, FaZe did that to us a few times at Gfinity. They were able to get control of our back red, and it just really messes up. When you're on offense and you can control the red, you're going to win rounds, like I said, 90% of the time. So. Right there, Optic stack the red, which is a smart play. I expect FaZe to switch it up, probably go green and Owens next time. Yeah, so four rounds played, we've seen every team on offense decide to work the A-bomb site, uh, mainly over towards the red building. Uh, actually, yesterday I saw quite a few B pushes on this map, where Rise, they were really focused on uh, trying to smoke out the middle of the map and then working their way inside green, and then from there, just kind of seeing where they got the kills and then choose a bomb site after that. But here comes Optic in round number five. They're going to be on offense. Uh, Bloods is now the bomb carry. He's got a thermal site on his USR. Just trying to look out towards top red as they're going to smoke out mid-map. Here comes Clacer trying to make something happen as Dito gets first blood on the skunk. Yeah, you know, Optic, they're trying to play for picks, which, I mean, with a sub, that's probably your best bet. You know, not really trying to do anything coordinated. I don't, I don't think, you know, uh, Nade and Bloods are going to be trying to do this side red bait and switch. You know, they really don't know each other that well. Mm -hmm. uh, the it's difficult on what they can do, you know, strategy-wise, but right there, ooh, Clay, if they would have gotten that kill right there, that would have been huge, but we're going to see Bloods in a one-on-two situation. Yep, so Sensor and Parasite, you see where they are on your minimap. Bloods also has the bomb in his hand. Not going to matter, though. Parasite gets the angle on him and picks him off with the assault rifle. So once again, we see FaZe taking the lead. Parasite playing all the way on top. Snow finds Bloods coming out from bottom wood. Takes him out. Easy kill there from Parasite. Uh, just looking at the scoreboard. Pretty much uh, everybody but Bloods. Bloods is having a bit of a rough series, isn't he? Yeah, and uh, Bloods had a, he had a bit of a rough uh, domination start. He was like 9-20-something at some point. And then, yeah. you know, starting off 1-4, and four, being demoted to the bomb guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to point that out. And he shot in the first rounds for offense. Uh, he had the bomb and then... Uh, as time progressed, Bloods, <laughs> he got demoted, as you said, to the bomb carry. But here comes Sensor. It's going to be a quick plant coming out from FaZe, and they got a great smoke grenade covering him. Unfortunately, he won't be able to get that bomb down, but at least they see, know Clayster is top red. See, that's where you needed a player top white, you know? Yeah, to get that cross. You, if you don't have the guy top white and he's not in position in time, you're not going to get that quick plant. You know, that smoke does not cut it. Uh, that's one of the problems that you know, we had at Gfinity yet again. And right there, I know Afti will push into red, get that last player Clayster, but... Going back to talk about that quick plan. If you don't have a player top white and he's not looking over you, look to your red two or red three, you're not going to get that bomb down. So pretty much that whole round was phased, putting a lot of bodies inside red. Optic, uh, they I guess they just didn't win their gunfights in red. Phase took control. They won the round. And got to get up to Apathy, man. He's seven and four. I want to watch him from the defensive end of things here. As yeah. uh, They're up by two rounds. Uh, should expect them to win defense, of course, but they've been able to win, I think, two offensive rounds. We'll see what they have in store for us here. Yeah, yeah we've been seeing some offensive rounds, you know, being won, which on Freight we usually don't see too often. I mean, it's pretty hard to win offense on Freight like we were talking about. And actually, it's going to be Optic working underground, so you see Scump. I have him highlighted on your mini-map. Uh, he can definitely do some damage. Just looking at where the phase members are located, nobody near green. Two at red train, one side red door. The B bomb site is open for the taking for Optic. Yeah, but you know, once Optic breaks that gate, 
It's going to be easy to hear them, and it looks like we're going to see some rotation back. But if, if Scum can get into green right here and he can get up top, he can cause some issues. Yeah, even if he just goes top green, clears out fire, he could watch the cross back lumber. Lots of different plays he can make, and there's going to be somebody from FaZe there. This is going to be Sensor, and this is going to be a key gunfight. Scum will take this one as uh, Sensor was not checking his corner. So it is all down to Apathy. Another one on three for him. There's a player near the U train right here. And if he crosses in front, he's dead. Yep. Yeah. And there he is. He's dead. And, you know, it's interesting, Revan. It's all about different ways to get the defensive team out of red control. Yeah. By pushing through gate, gets them to rotate out of red, it's easy to break these setups. And you know, I think And even if you break the gate, you don't necessarily have to commit to the no. B bomb at all. It's just as you were saying, if you get them out of red, it just makes it that much easier to win the offensive round. And that is a huge round for Optic to win, because now they're gonna be on defense and they have a chance to tie it up. I mean you can break gate, smoke the back, and then wrap around back yeah. towards the front and take over red. Like if I break the gate and go and you have two teammates over at side red and they push into red as you break the gate and they start their rotation, I mean that's an easy round win as well. Here comes Apathy, we'll find one at the red door. First blood comes and takes out Clacer. Nobody else from Optic inside red. So as Apathy moves in here, he's gonna be like, Okay, well thank you for control. Let's go plant the bomb at A. That's a little bit odd. I, was Clay stunned? Did he get stunned? Yeah, off I think the he break? was stunned I think a he little got bit. Strong arm stunned off the break. So I was gonna say he got there really slow. And here comes Appy. He knows there's one player back here. Does get the cleanup kill on Bloods, but it's down to a two-on-two two as himself and, At and Parasite are last alive. Let's see what the Optic players are doing. You got Nate Shot. He's playing top green. He's got some great angles inside red, but nobody from FaZe playing there. Actually, Skump might find a kill here. Spots one back Lumber, and there you go. He's going to take out Parasite. Appy, last one alive. Yeah, you know, right there. I mean, Appy, is, he's in a great position. Challenge Skump right here. I mean, two-on-one, he pretty much knows there's one player oh, back here. Oh, you see him. Oh, defense. Ah! Oh. Apathy, is he going to get him? Yes, Oof. takes out Skump, brings it down to a one-on-one, -on -one, but time not on his side. However, Apathy does have the bomb in the hand. Optic, they do not know this because uh, Infinity Ward, they did patch one of the bomb glitches where you can't see it if you click start. Yeah, you know, and that's huge. You see Nate, he was watching the cross back to B, so he's got to know he's going to A. Oh. Right there, you see Apathy with a hit marker, and you know, Nate actually, that was a very smart play. It will clutch that round, and you know, this is a very close game, 4-4, Revan. Yeah, the only hit marker that matters anymore is the orange drawn. Yep. You see Nate shot gets the headshot there, and that was a big win from out the gaming. They just won two rounds in a row. A phase they're going to be looking to lock things down on defense. And one thing I really haven't seen yet from FaZe is uh, an aggressive defensive play. You think we'll see here where they just try to catch the offense off guard? Uh, uh, if they're going to do an aggressive uh, defense play, it's going to be through the middle of the map. It's going to be towards this side, and it looks like that's uh, exactly what they're going to do. They're going to rush right out. Uh, they have one player getting close to B Dom. Actually, not. Nah, they're, they're okay, going to so come back. They're going to pull back. Yeah, they're just going to play the same consistent defense. All right, now let's see what Athic is going to do. You got Skump with the sniper trying to find a player all the way near the back dumpster. Clayser this time is going to be the bomb carrier, so switching it up even more while Nate Shot scopes things out with the thermal. Let's take a look at Bloods the fill, and he's going to continue being the sniper here uh, with the thermal. Of course, they won't see really anything near the middle of the map. Just take a look at where the phase guys are located. So Parasite, he's going to be the first one to rotate back. He's kind of in charge of sound whoring the gate, and he actually might find one crossing towards the white door. Yeah, oh, you, know, you see him, yeah, you see him, take him out. Him. Ah! Oh, he's he's going to be really slow on those shots right there, and Clay's able to take him out. And that's huge that Optics able to get first blood right here in this offensive round. And here we go, Clayster looking for more, finds a player near red too. It's going to be Apthy who just took down Skump. Time's starting to wind down. Maybe Optic took a little too much time there. That's going to be the bomb, bomb dropped. That's a really weird place to bring the bomb. He was in great position to watch yeah. over somebody if they would have been planning at A. But, you know, to bring the bomb over to that white train, I don't know if I agree with that play. Maybe he didn't, did he not know he had the bomb maybe or... Nah, that's a, that's I, I think at play. the level these guys are playing at, you know, know when you got the, the bomb. bomb yeah. yeah. They knew who has the bomb, obviously, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sensor around any kill cam. Finds the final kill of the round as FaZe. They're going to retake the lead. They need one more round win, and they will go up 2-0 in the series, but they will find themselves on offense. It, I wonder what they're going to pull out here to it, try to get the round win. If I'm FaZe, I push Fire Alley. I push that mid, straight through beat on Fire Alley. I'd probably be able to get one or two kills if you smoke it out. Yeah, or Dito's got the smoke. Yeah, so, I mean, let's All see. Right, He's going to be a quick it. plant, maybe? No, nah, looks like they're going to try and push fire. Yeah, Parasite's pushing fire alley, man. Parasite will find first blood. Man, I should so be a smart. coach. I should be a coach. You, you really, you could make a, a pretty good Call of Duty coach, I think. Parasite I finds his second kill of the round there as he takes out Nate shot. Man, I should really consider being a coach. Yeah, maybe you could help out a team. I don't know which team would, would need a coach, but... Right now, it's going to be blood left in a two-on-one situation. 
sensor has the bomb over at B, and he, I think he's just waiting for apathy to get in a good spot to watch him. But uh, I'm not too. I'm not too oh, much of a fan Bloods of didn't spot see him through right the there. bomb. Sensor saw him though. Let's take a look at this in the round. Any kill cam sensor looked like he wanted to go for the bomb plant, but finds Bloods running out of green as soon as he tries to plant this bomb. It's going to be Faze winning map number two here. Six to four. Apathy finishing 12 and seven. Everyone else around the same area. Blood stepped it up at the end of the game. He's going to finish five and eight. But all eyes are on him as the optic substitute. Faze are up 2-0 now. Yeah, you know, that was a great push right there out of Faze. And because they never really pushed out of side white. So, mm -hmm. you know, optic wasn't going to pay any attention to that. They pre pretty much primarily focusing on red control the whole game. You know, pushes through the back of red, pushes into red. So, you know, they knew they were going to have at least one player watching the mid alley. They smoked it out. Able to push in. Parasite killed that one player. There happened to be a player in green. Able mm -hmm. to come right behind him as he was watching the gate. They had a three-on-two advantage. It worked it down to a two-on-one. Won that search and strike pretty easy. Yeah, and take a look at the Twitter poll. Phase, they're going to take the lead. They're up by 8% wow. of the votes. Guys, uh, keep hashtagging Scuff Showdown as well as whichever team you think will win. I think at this point, everybody's going for hashtag Phase. So it looks like. At the end of the night, well, maybe even after this next map, we'll uh, find our Crown winner. winner of who's going to take home the Scuff Gaming Controller. But before we do that, we're going to a commercial break. When we come back, it's going to be Warhawk Blitz between Optic Gaming and FaZe. We'll see you soon.